All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm gonna do a toolbox um, tour. I like looking at everybody else's. I uh, I really enjoy seeing what everybody else has got and what they use and hearing about their tools. So uh, I figured after watching about a couple thousand of them, I'd do one of my own. So anyway, this is my box. Sorry about the bad lighting. I'm gonna kind of cast a shadow in a few spots in here. It's a uh, Craftsman uh, home storage model. And I believe, uh, from what I understand, this is a late 60s model toolbox. I picked it up for about 50 bucks, um, about 15, about eh, 13 years ago. And I've had it ever since. I'm kind of starting to outgrow it. I'm going to have to do something else, think about getting a service cart to go along with this. But uh, it's just for uh, home use and a little bit of kind of shade tree stuff on the side. So and it's nothing too spectacular. Anyway, we'll get started here at the top. Hopefully the lighting will be good enough. Uh, and the top up here is where I keep all my sockets. Uh, pretty much that's all that is up here. A couple crow's foot uh, wrenches back there and uh, safety glasses, stuff like that. These here in the back, uh, these are all just uh, standard cheapies, uh, impact sockets. Uh, up here, these are uh, metric cheapies. Sorry about the bad lighting, you may not be able to see them. These here are some of those, some people call them turbo sockets. Uh, they're actually Harbor Freight's version to get out... Uh, uh, broken bolts and uh, stuff that's snapped off with nothing there but a stud. They work really good, by the way, even the Harbor Freight uh, version. Um, I've used those quite a bit. Uh, the rest of the stuff's just kind of uh, mixed and matched uh, with the exception of this set here. I've got both metric and standard 3 8 That's a Pittsburgh uh, set. And uh, I actually really like this set a lot. It's the uh, 12 point. Had nothing but good luck out of them. I've used them, abused them. They've never broke, never gave me any problems. That's just a cheapy quarter inch set. Um, I got a couple good ones. This uh, I think this is a 32 millimeter here. I know the lighting's horrible. Uh, 36 millimeter actually. That's a okay. My light is cutting out on me. I don't know what's going on there, but that is uh, actually a Proto socket. So it's kind of a good brand. I've got this one here is a Snap On. Uh, snap on, boy the lighting in here is horrible, snap on uh, one and an eighth inch, um, that's just an extra 10 or 12 millimeter there, this one here, this is one of the only hex uh, sockets I have, this is an H6, uh, I got that for doing uh, brake work on dirt bikes and motorcycles, these two, uh, one of the, this is an inch and 5 sixteenths, just an O'Reilly's cheapie, and this is an inch and a quarter. I bought both of those for doing a, a pinion. Um, to take the pinion nut loose on my Dodge Ram 1500. It's actually an inch and a quarter is what the uh, what the uh, uh, nut actually is. But mine was all rounded off and destroyed. So I had to get some 12 points. A little bit smaller or a little bit bigger rather to get it off. That's just a cheapy uh, quarter inch um, standard and metric set there. The crow's feet are just kind of cheapies. It's, hey, whatever gets the job done, you know. Uh, those are deep well, um, 3 8 standard. Those are uh, inverted Torx right there. Now the lighting's horrible. Um, Torx back there in the corner. Uh, those are uh, security Torx, a mini set there. These deep wells, some of these here are corn wells. Some of them are proto. Uh, I think there's even a couple uh, Mac tools in here. That's a Husky there. It's just kind of mix and match. Uh, I've been trying to kind of put this set together. Some of the stuff I inherited from my grandfather when uh, he passed away, unfortunately. And uh, some of it I've gotten here and there at garage sales. These are the only uh, five uh, swivel sockets I have. Uh, I think a couple of those are a pretty good uh, brand. I don't use them very much. Uh, we got a S and K, of course, Craftsman, and uh, I got some things to say about Craftsman, especially nowadays they've kind of gone to crap. Uh, that one there's a Snap On. Uh, I think it's nine sixteenths, uh, uh, half inch, and a couple metrics there. I don't use them very often. Uh, yeah, that's about it for the top drawer. Nothing special. Bad lighting, I'll tell you. This drawer here uh, is just kind of a throw it in here. I got the three cheapy uh, uh, Pittsburgh vice grips. Uh, you really shouldn't call them vice grips because they're really not. 
and uh, this is just a cheapy crimper. Uh, this here, I don't know what you actually call this. I use this for uh, crimping rings down on uh, air hoses and argon hoses. I'll get to that more later on. Just scraper, a pair of scissors, some crap. This here is just nothing but drill bits and step down bits and crap like that. No reason to even look at all that. Nothing interesting in there. This is the main squeeze, I guess you could say, of my screwdrivers. These are the kind of okay um, Harbor Freight Specials. They're not too bad. Um, they are all marked, and the markings are starting to wear off on these, but I kind of like that. They're color-coded. you got a uh, flathead in blue and then uh, Phillips in red. And I like that they are, they got the attachment here you can put a wrench on. That's not too bad. I've, they've done me well. they got magnetic uh, tips. Not too bad. This is extensions and ratchets and finger ratchets and extension adapters and all that type of stuff. This here is the biggest waste of money. Not that. Right here, rather. If you ever uh, want to buy a uh, gator grip, I think is what they call this, or alligator socket, whatever, don't fucking buy it. These things are a piece of shit. They don't work. I really found absolutely no use for this at all. I mean, it's junk. Got a couple spark plug sockets. These are the, I think they call them shark bite sockets. They're actually threaded on the inside. They're half inch. I had to buy those to get some uh, lug nuts off of a Mustang I had that had uh, keyed lug nuts on it and somebody lost the key. Um, I got a couple step ups, uh, or no, that's step down rather, three eighths to quarter inch and then uh, 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 half inch to three eighths. I got a drill adapter there for three eighths. This is so you can put uh, bits on an impact. Everybody knows what that is. It's a uh, knuckle. That is a step up from a half inch to three quarter. I very rarely ever use that. This is just a cheapy set of um, a step down, uh, step down, and step up. Uh, I might have got that backwards, but you get the drift. That's an antique, or maybe not antique, rather, but older, uh, early 70s or 60s model uh quick handle ratchet uh, there, quick driver, couple quarter inch uh, old Craftsman's, one of these is really old, is actually the, they call this the V-back, I've also heard, heard it called arrow back, this is pretty old, still a nice ratchet, quarter inch breaker bar, yeah, how high everybody laughs about them, but they come in handy, this is really nice, this is a cheap Taiwanese, uh, just cheap ratchet, but it's a half inch uh, flex head, this has come in handy a lot for getting to the top uh, bell housing bolts on transmissions. Um, that that that's really it's it's paid for itself to say the least. Uh, this is just a cheapy here, uh, three eighths chrome. It's all right. This is a Harbor Freight Special uh, Pittsburgh Pro Ratchet. It's pretty good. It's kind of loud actually. Uh, I don't seem to be too loud today, but this here also I use. Uh, I think they actually call this a flex head uh, spark plug ratchet. It's a flex head and also has the, I don't know what, 30 degree bend, I think it is, on the on the handle. That thing is unmatched for taking out um, uh, bell housing bolts to get to those bell housing bolts behind, especially on Fords. Uh, you cannot beat that thing. It's unbeatable. I, I recommend it. Maybe a better brand. That's just a cheapy Harbor Freight. This is my favorite ratchet of all time. Uh, actually, uh, Fiance got me this for uh, Christmas one year. It's just like a nine dollar. Uh, it's just a no name, cheapy ratchet. It's just chrome. It's got quarter inch on one side, three inch on the other. Reversible, of course. You know, I love this thing. That's my go to ratchet for just normal stuff. It, your hand doesn't get cold when it's freezing outside. I just love it. It's got. It's a. It's a really good. Listen to that. Really good teeth. This is one of the Harbor Freight composites. I highly recommend one of these if you don't have it. I have, as you can see, beat the hell out of this thing. I've put breaker bars on it, everything. It's held up to the test. Listen to those teeth. It's, I mean, that's a good ratchet for the money. It's its lightweight. It's never cold in your hand. It's just, that thing's great. I, I'd recommend it highly. I just got assorted um, all different brands. Some of them, um, most of them actually Pittsburgh, some of them Craftsman. Uh, extensions there. I'll say one thing to anybody who doesn't own a lot of tools yet that is going to get into collecting tools or buying any. Don't buy except a few maybe these uh, wobble extensions because when you go to the point where you have to put a bunch of extensions together to get down say an axle tube 
um, on a Dodge Ram, like I just had to do, they sag on you like that. And so if you're trying to get in a deep spot and you're in a tight location, you've got the socket sag clear down at the end. You can't get it up high enough to get where you're going. So, yeah, needless to say, those uh, wobble extensions, yeah, they got erectile dysfunction. Anyway, that's just a cheapy, but works really good. Come in handy a lot. Inch-pounds torque wrench. Those are just those... Yeah, you know, everybody thinks they want them, then you don't hardly ever use them. Uh, I don't know what they call them. Hand ratchets, palm ratchets. And that's about it for that drawer. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show this socket. I actually made this. Uh, I know the welds look like crap, but it's because of that chrome. This is a socket used to go down the tube, the axle tube on that rear end on that Dodge Ram, to tighten and loosen the carrier preload adjusting nuts. You do not have to get online and buy one of these for a shit ton of money. Um, if anybody's interested and wanting to know, I don't think I need to tell you how to make it. It's common sense. But um, if you want to know what size uh, nut to buy to make that, uh, just give me a message or a comment. I'll let you know. Uh, the next drawer, these are all wrenches. Uh, these are the Harbor Freight, uh, just kind of cheapy ratcheting wrenches. I've had no problems with them at all. Uh, of course, I wouldn't go breaking heavy, you know, torque stuff loose with them. But they're really good for whenever you're in a tight spot and you just want to ratchet something, you know, loose, especially after you already broke it loose. The, the steel on them is kind of soft. I think I can show you on, I think it's this one. Uh, I slipped one time on this one trying to take some uh, uh, U-joint, uh, whatever you call it, the U-joint the, the bracket bolts loose on a truck and you can see it chewed that up pretty bad just rounding it one time so but hey they're lifetime warranty whatever i think i got them that set for 20 some dollars a piece these are i think they market these as uh, ignition uh, wrenches but i like them because if you see in there i don't know if you can see very good i can't get them to shake around they have a uh, uh, 45 and 90 degree heads on them and so they come in handy a lot trying to get into tight uh, places when you're trying to get to, to small nuts on things and bolts. Um, that's another Harbor Freight set. I actually really like that set. I marked it so I know standard and metric because you can't see from looking down. I bought it actually just because it came with the stubbies. And these uh, stubby wrenches, these, this is a fully polished set. It's actually really nice. These stubby wrenches, they, they totally come in handy. I've had nothing but good luck with them. They seem to be strong. They're holding up really good. These are still kind of short. Um, I've got a, another set I'll show you in a second that's kind of longer, but I'm, I'm going to get two more sets standard and metric of the long uh, handle wrenches because these sometimes just don't cut it. They're not long enough to have good torque, and sometimes they just won't reach. But for normal around the, you know, just general maintenance and stuff, these are doing just fine. And I like I like this box it comes in. It's not bad at all. Ugh, these drawers are old. This is nothing but pliers. 90% uh, of those are cheapy Harbor Freights. This is pretty cool. It's one of those Craftsman... Uh, I don't know what they call that, Cobra Grip, I think, or something, self-adjusting um, channel locks. I love it. I need to warranty it. All the finish is coming off of it. Uh, all the orange handles you see are just the Harbor Freight sets. I've had nothing but good luck with them. The side cutters, I mean, I can even cut paper with them. They're not bad for the money. They'll definitely do the job, uh, but they're kind of ugly, you know, and they look cheap. Uh, this is a cheapy, uh, even though it came in handy really well. Long reach, 45-degree uh, beak. Needle Mose, I actually bought this because I had to uh, get a hood open for a guy on a Ford Explorer that uh, the the pull handle broke to release the hood latch. So that worked out good. I inherited these from my grandfather. I don't know anything about them. Maybe somebody watching the video does. The brand is Artisan. I don't know if you can see that. Artesian, Artisan. They say made in the USA. I don't know if they came bent like that or if he bent them, but they've come in handy a lot for the fact that they're bent that way. And I have used these a tremendous amount. they got nice teeth on them. Those are really good. Um, I needed some punches a while back. I had a whole bunch of those little tire irons laying around. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. They've kind of got a 45 degree. Uh, one end is, looks like a pry bar and the other end has a socket. I just made this a dead blow punch. Uh, this one here is one of the other ones and I left that tire iron deal on the end just kind of flatten it out. Those work excellent for punches. I had nothing but good luck with them and hey, they were free. Um, just punches. That's a cheapy pick set from Harbor Freight, but it's worked really good. Those are actually relatively expensive. I believe these are Swiss-made mini pliers set. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Let's see if I can get a brand for you off these. They are... Oh, that one's made in the USA. That's a Diamond D there. I, I believe those other two are Swiss-made. 
It's got a random dental pick here. It's kind of a long one. Comes in handy a lot. You never know when you're going to need picks. I think I went over everything in that drawer. This drawer is just a bunch of random stuff. Uh, I got a couple uh, brake line wrenches in here. Uh, I believe this is a... That's a Samson. I don't even know anything about that brand. This one here is just a totally cheapy Taiwan flare nut wrench, but it, it fits a lot of the things I end up working on, so I kept that one. This is one of my nicer uh, uh, wrenches. This is a Snap-on 916 half inch. It's a long uh, extra torque wrench, and it's uh, 12 point with the uh, slightly offset. This thing comes in handy a lot. I love this wrench. I use it all the time. I got another long handle one here. There's absolutely no markings left on this except 3 8 and uh, 7 16 I believe. It comes in handy a lot. Just a metric and standard metal uh, ruler there. These are all of the same set except with this one. These are just the bigger wrenches. It didn't fit in the drawer above. Uh, this one I bought actually doing a ball joint on a Mustang. It's not a bad wrench. It's in one of them GM Performance from O'Reilly's 15 16 not a bad wrench. I, I like those wrenches. They're fully polished. They look nice, but they're still cheap. Uh, move that out of the way. Uh, that's just uh, one of them cheapy hacksaws come in handy. I got two pickle forks. So they're different lengths. This is an old wedge. It's been beat to hell. This is, uh, I call this the prying screwdriver. You can probably tell why. This is one of those old, I never really use it, um, but it goes, uh, does metric and standard from 13 16 to a uh, quarter, uh, inch and a quarter rather, and 23 to 32, and I don't know if it probably comes in handy. This is actually a pry bar for doing brake tools. I use it for a lot of things. You got a pipe wrench, wire brush, there's a couple of oil filter, uh, uh, whatever you want to call them, pliers back there, ratchet, or not ratchets, but uh, wrenches rather. Uh, big giant, just a cheapy Chinese uh, crescent wrench, comes in handy for holding a lot of stuff. Oil wrenches, this is a good, I just warrantied this out. This is a really nice uh, Craftsman Channel Locks, one of the big ones. The teeth on that are razor sharp. That's a good one. That's one of them old Craftsman ratchet wrenches down there. Don't ever use it. Another one of these cheapy, I call them prying screwdrivers. Uh, seal puller. This is pretty interesting. It's a Stanley, but this is actually a, um, I guess you would call this a vice grip. Um crescent wrench i mean you can tighten it down and then it will actually vice grip on there it's coming handy a lot um this is an old uh, sledgehammer it's my favorite one somebody made this i got it at a garage sale when i was a kid it's probably about a i don't know three pound let's see if i can get this drawer closed now outgrowing this box i'm telling you This drawer is kind of my everything drawer. It's my go-to drawer. I keep a lot of my my stuff I go to a lot, favorite stuff in here. I got a compression tester there. Uh, this is the hose to it. I got multiple fittings to it laying around there somewhere. Um, this one, if I can find it, uh, I made this one special for uh, the smaller inverted uh, Honda dirt bikes and clones like that, Chinese clones. Uh, this next my compression tester down to fit the spark plug hole. Um, got a large liquid syringe in there, scrapers, thread lock. These are those, uh, there's two of them put together here. I don't know if I can screw them with one hand. These are those, uh, spark plug anti-foulers. These work really good for trying to fix, uh, now this isn't a fix, I guess, to try to rig O2 sensor problems. You can take the O2 sensor out downstream, put it in this, put this in the exhaust. It'll stop check engine light sometime. Got some vacuum line. This is my uh, older dial calipers. I still take care of these. I still like them, use them all the time. Um, this is a tool I rigged together years and years ago. Looks like crap. Uh, it fits in uh, chainsaw um, uh, clutches to t uh, knock them off on the impact. You got some of these old, cheapy um, ratcheting wrenches, you call them. They work pretty good, so I keep them around. They're kind of the beat on stuff. Got a gigantic pair of tweezers in here. So that way, if any Ford mechanics come over and they need to use the bathroom, they can use this to find their... Oh, never mind. You know what I mean. Um, this is a carburetor adjusting tool for wall burrow and some other carburetors on um, chainsaws and crap like that, weed eaters. Mechanic stethoscope. Those are uh, shims for carriers and rear ends. Uh, torque screwdrivers. Um, I got the... These are from Harbor Freight. 
the uh, quick disconnects. These work really well. I'd highly recommend them. The only thing I don't like about them is, is these are a little too thick for some of the jobs you'll find. So I just got one of those cheapy plastic uh, Harbor Freight sets. Works really good. Haven't had any problems out of it. Another scraper, spark tester, uh, right down here. Works good. Diagnosed several problems with that, actually. That little cheapy thing. This is uh, just one of the cheapy, but works good, digital calipers from uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. O'Reilly's. Sorry, I only had like two hours of sleep last night. There's uh, what's left after I lost the rest of them. Um, uh, nut drivers back there. You got a magnifying glass. Always keep a magnifying glass around. They, they work really good. I got steel stamps, numbers and letters. This is a specialty tool right here. I don't know if you can see it. For removing the... Um, uh, I can't think of what they call it right now. Ignition control module off of a Ford alternator. Because some of them are mounted to it. And it takes that thin wall socket. It's got multiple uh, six fingers in there. You got an angle screwdriver, some false screwdrivers. Some different uh, crush sleeves out of rear ends. Just a random piece of garden hose. These are our, uh, these ratchets here are for uh, mainly for GM side terminal batteries. I got a single 3 8 ratcheting wrench there. I don't know why I had that. I use it sometimes. You know what those are? Uh, that's a drum brake tool. Got some uh, precision screwdrivers back there, and those are all Allen keys. Nothing special. Small to huge. This is pretty neat. This is an antique. Uh, uh, Champion brand spark plug adjuster. Uh, you can you can adjust them. It's got a file on it, and uh, it's got all these. Uh, they're basically like feeler gauges. This is really neat. I use this thing all the time. It's actually been uh, stolen from me once, and I recovered it. So I'm glad about that. This is just a cheapy socket. Some of you might know what this is. It's for taking off clutches off of Honda horizontal engines and some of the Kawasaki's and all the clones. Comes in handy. I work on a lot of those. Um, I think that's about it in this drawer. Thread tape, crap like that. Feeler gauges. There's some plastic gauges down here in the very bottom. You can kind of see from whenever you build a small block Chevy motor. Um, I think that's really about it. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's a, a hone back here for doing small engine. Uh, just getting the wash out of a cylinder. Just rehoning it for like chainsaws and weed eaters and such like that. Some small... Uh, horizontal engines it works on. I don't think I forgot anything down here. This drawer, um, this is a cheapy pass-through set, pass-through ratchet set. I don't know or care really much about the ratchet. I use it, it works, whatever, I don't care. But these sockets are awesome. They fit both metric and standard. Like this one, for example, I just grabbed is for um, 11 millimeter and 7 16 They're spline drive. They fit multiple uh, different uh, uh, fasteners. It's got the adapter back here where you can put this into a wrench. Uh, I think it's a three-quarter or 19 millimeter, same thing. It's just a trashy uh, socket I got. I left that in there so I can put these into this socket. I'll slide in here, and then I can drive that with a good ratchet rather than that cheap one. I love those things. Some of the best money I ever spent. I think I got that whole set for $19. Um, radiator flush kit there. Uh, those are just some of the cheapy Torx bits that came with that pick set. Uh, that's a, a voltage tester, just a light-up um, voltage tester. Um, those are some electric fittings. This is one of those, uh, I actually really like this, so it's one of those cheapy uh, finger-grabbing uh, tools, but this one has a magnet and a pretty good, I don't know if you can see it, pretty good LED light on the end. That's coming handy a lot. I really like that thing. Um, this is, uh, I inherited this from my grandfather. I don't really know much about it, and I don't really... I uh, haven't really used it, but it's this uh, Champion Tool Company. Um, it's got like a ratchet driver for these. They're almost like Torx bits, kind of, but these are strange here. I've never uh, seen any of these before. If anybody knows anything about them, just send me a link in the comments. I I guess they're just normal hex bits. I don't know. Uh, missing one there. But I inherited that, so I keep it around because it was his. Sorry, I'm all in the lighting. Oh, uh, and then I got... What I do? Dump that out. Anyway, then I got um, disc brake, uh, wheel cylinder, compression tool, battery cleaner, tubing bender. I just have that in there because this is broke. I use it for the other side of it. Um, tubing flaring tool, a tubing cutter, 
Uh, adapters for side post to top post batteries. Yeah. Got a couple pullers in here. I know you can't really see. There's a three jaw puller down there. This is one of the steering wheel pullers, flywheel pullers, everything pullers. These work pretty good. I like it. Um, antifreeze tester. A small GP blow to uh, blow to blow teen. <laughs> um, butane blow torch works pretty good for like uh, crimping stuff. Um, not crimping stuff, but like uh, um, shrink tubing on wiring. This is uh, one of the Harbor Freight dial indicators. I actually would highly recommend this. I used it uh, to redo the rear end on my truck. Uh, it works really well. I haven't had any problems with it. It seems like it's well made. I can't see any difference between this and the one that um, Summit Racing sells besides the box. I believe Summit even calls their Chicago brand, which is very interesting. It's almost like they didn't only rebrand it, but instead of rebrand it, they're reselling it for $157 under the same name. And uh, that's with the... Uh, where you tighten up the the flexible uh, arm on that. I know you can't really see it. I think that was thirty some dollars. Uh, under that, I just got one of those uh, kind of cheapy, but works good. I've used it a lot. Metric uh, tap and die sets from uh, Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh brand. Works really good. I've had to use it multiple times, especially on those uh, four wheelers and dirt bikes and motorcycles. That's why I got the metric set and don't have a standard. I do have a couple standard taps here and there. These are those cheapy, I really don't use these at all. They're good for oil filtering and stuff. Those are just those cheapy uh, band wrenches, I think they call them. They're plastic and rubber, they're junk. This one, this is a pretty cool set. Let's see if I can open it without dropping it. It's a Pittsburgh set, but instead of being all inclusive, this kind of just has just your main necessities, uh, like the most used sockets. Um, it's got the most used deep wells, most used shallows, most used quarter inch. Comes with three ratchets. I had to warranty one. I broke it. It's not a bad set. Spark plug, sockets, all that. These are the master uh, bit set at Pittsburgh Sales. Comes in handy. I use it all the time. Works really good. Uh, that's just some. Uh, these are just some of these cheapy easy out. Oh, I don't think I can get it open with one hand, but these are just cheapy, uh, they call them rigid screw extractors. Work pretty good, I've used them as well. I mean, whatever you gotta do to save your ass when you're in a bind like that. You know, everybody knows, everybody's been there. Just, uh, just a funnel back there, I use that for adding oil and crap like that. Down here, that's, um, those are the extra heavy duty Tekton wrenches underneath those multiple, uh, beating devices there. You know what big wrenches look like. This is uh, just a rigged up breaker I made. Didn't have a ratcheting breaker, so I took this little crappy ratchet and put it in this pipe and just duct taped it on there. Got a gigantic um, channel locks under there, some pry bars. There's an extra long extension right there. Sorry, I got this thing in my way here, so I can't open my drawer all the way. I uh, got every file of just about every made back in there. You can kind of see the handle on my impact, random tape measure half inch breaker bar right there from Harbor Freight. I'd highly recommend it. It's never, never let me down. Um, I would absolutely recommend that to anyone. Oh, man, it's so cold out here. My drawers don't want to open and close. So, I also got uh, the rest of my wrenches up here, these are some, they're not really long handle wrenches, but these are a longer set. I'm missing some of them. There's some, uh, I might call those ratchets, I meant wrenches. <laughs> Multiple brands, SK Wayne, um, there's a Easeco, E-A-S-C-O, never heard of it. There's some Pittsburghs. There's some uh, Champions, and then some no-names, a Stanley. There's a Blowtorch right there. I know I'm in the light. There's JV Weld, so... Uh, when you blow a head gasket, you can just take your head off and then just glue your head on JB Weld. It works every time. Just kidding. Don't try that. That, uh, you can't really see in the lighting, is my little, um, I guess I can move it over here. This is a little clutch brand inverter stick welder. Uh, I'm actually a welder by trade. I work over the road doing a lot of welding. Uh, that welder is amazing and it is nothing short of a godsend for the amount of money. It does TIG. Um, it's, it's great. It's 110. If you want to see a video on that or hear a review of it, let me know. Um, not much more over there. This is the 
nuts and bolts collection. That's all that's in that big tray there, and just random crap. I uh, made that little aluminum uh, deal there. I get it. I need to drill some more holes for it just to hold crap on the side of the box. Got some random crap up here. This is my job box, the yellow one underneath all this crap. That's all my welding tools when I work over the road. If anybody is interested in anything like that, wants to see a video on it, just let me know. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, before I forget, this uh, Craftsman torque wrench I'm pretty pissed off about. Fuck you, Craftsman. If I can get this fucker open. So, I inherited a really nice uh, 3 8 drive. I believe it's a 3 8 drive. I mean, look. I've only used it four times. I'll get to that. Yeah. I inherited a really nice 3 8 drive torque wrench from my grandfather uh, when he passed away. My dad uh, borrowed it unbeknownst to me and tried to use it as a breaker bar like a dumbass and destroyed it trying to get some lug nuts off of a Ford Courier. And I don't know if any of you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of the older Ford Couriers used reverse thread lug nuts well needless to say they didn't come off and the torque wrench did so the torque wrench had lifetime warranty on it as original craftsman like a 60s model so i took it in and in 2010 i don't know if you can see right there you can see the word warranty they warrantied it out and they gave me what i thought was going to be a nice 79 dollar and 99 cent torque wrench there goes my light again acting up and I have only used it four times since then on an engine rebuild and a couple other small things. And then I went to use it this time here recently on my truck. And on the fourth time I used it, and I take really good care of this stuff. I mean, you could see there's not a scratch on that. It's in the original box. I even got the receipt. I mean, come on, you know. And this junk piece of shit, the cap has gone off this handle. And I can't turn it with one hand, but there's a nut down in there. And it has came loose on that shaft. You can kind of see. I can turn the handle on, not the shaft. So the torque never changes. Uh, I tried to tighten that down. And I cannot get a socket with a thin enough wall to get in there. I might have to turn one down on a lathe to tighten that back up. But then I'll have to recalibrate it. Blah, 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 and so on. That's not why I'm at. I'll tell you why I'm at. Uh, I can't open it uh, with one hand. But you can take my word for it. In that little manual right there, it comes with it. As you can see, USA made. And I thought torque wrenches were hand tools, by the way, but... So you open that manual up, and the first thing it says, which, you know, we're guys, we don't open manuals and read shit, everybody knows how to use a damn torque wrench. The first line on the damn manual says that this Craftsman Micro Torque Torque Wrench only has a 30-day warranty on it. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? You took my grandpa's antique torque wrench that had a lifetime warranty and warranted it out for this fucking piece of shit that broke after four times, and you're not going to warrant it? I don't think so. So, I believe the law is, guys, if you have a lifetime warranty tool and you take it back to the manufacturer to have it warrantied out, and um, they have to give you a new tool with the same warranty because the warranty passes on to the new tool. That's the law, guys. So, they cannot give you a replacement tool and all of a sudden your warranty falls off unless your original warranty says it's warrantied with one replacement or some bullshit like that. So, anyway, I'm going to call Better Business Bureau Sorry about that. God dang, even the box is junk about this thing, because I'm pretty pissed off about it. So anyway, that's my toolbox tour. I don't think I missed anything. Um, if there's anything else you want to see in better detail or anything, and I know the lighting's horrible. You don't got to remind me if you made it this far in the video. So anyway, appreciate you watching. Oh yeah, there's a couple things over there I forgot. Just uh, long-handled screwdrivers, that my biggest pry bar, some random... Uh, races there off of different bearings I use them for uh, to drive new races in W40 rate cleaner crap like that magnetic parts holder anyway hope you liked the video hope it's not too dark and hope nobody complains so see you next time thanks